Hey guys, it's Miss Mandy. I'm here again for a Beamy Kids time. Unfortunately, we're not able to be together in their classrooms again. So I thought I would jump on and talk to you guys about worrying again and read a book called Don't Think About Purple Elephants. So this will be another strategy that we can use when we're worrying. So let's see what happens in the book. I hope you all can see the pictures okay. Sometimes Sophie worried. There's Sophie right there. You guys see her? She didn't worry on weekdays when she went to school where she learned all sorts of interesting things and played with her friends. She didn't worry in the afternoons when she played games and drew pictures. She's playing snakes and ladders here. And she's nice and relaxed drawing here like we practice being relaxed. She didn't worry on weekends when she read books, baked cakes, or helped in the garden. Rode her bike and laid on the grass looking at clouds. She's nice and relaxed again. During the day, Sophie was busy thinking about all the fun things she was doing. But at bedtime, when everything was quiet and still and there were no games to play or lessons to learn, Sophie started to worry. Does that ever happen to you guys? Sometimes that happens to me when I'm laying in bed at night. What if they ran out of milk? and she couldn't have cereal for breakfast. What if her favorite shirt was still in the wash and she couldn't wear it on the weekend? What if she forgot her lunch and had nothing to eat at school? What if mom cooked Brussels sprouts for dinner? Sophie didn't like Brussels sprouts. I don't like Brussels sprouts either. Do you guys like Brussels sprouts? Sophie worries made it hard for her to go to sleep and she often try, was often tired in the mornings. Sometimes she was so tired she couldn't do all the things she loved to do. Her family tried to help. Oliver loaned Sophie his favorite book for bedtime story, but the cover gave her new things to worry about. Emily gave Sophie her teddy, but Sophie worried that her little sister wouldn't be able to sleep without him. So she gave Teddy a quick cuddle and put him back on Emily's bed. Her dad suggested a nice drink of warm milk with honey. Sophie thought that sounded delicious, but she worried she would need to go to the toilet during the night or maybe she might wet the bed. What was Sophie going to do? She was so sleepy, but every time she closed her eyes, she started to worry. I know, said mom, go to bed. Close your eyes and don't think about purple elephants. No cute little purple elephants. No big purple elephants at the circus. No purple elephants at all. How silly, thought Sophie. But she lay down, closed her eyes, and tried not to think about purple elephants. Straight away, a friendly purple elephant appeared in her mind. then another, and another, until purple elephants were all Sophie could think about. Sophie smiled at the funny things the elephants were doing and slowly drifted off to sleep, her worries forgotten. The next day, when Sophie woke up, she wasn't tired. She had fun with her friends at school, 
play games with Oliver and Emily in the afternoon and drew some pictures of purple elephants. When mom came in to kiss Sophie at bedtime that night, Sophie said, I don't need to not think about purple elephants tonight. Really? said mom. No, tonight I'm going to not think about blue monkeys, said Sophie with a smile and she closed her eyes. Do you see the blue monkeys she's not thinking about already? So do you guys sometimes have that problem? when you're laying down in bed and you start to think about all kinds of different things, maybe worrying about what you're gonna do the next day, what you're gonna have for breakfast. Maybe you're worrying about where you placed the toy the night, the day before. Those are all kinds of things that we might worry about. So this could be a really great strategy again, to say, I'm not gonna think about something silly like purple elephants. And then when you're laying in bed, that's all you think about and then you're able to go to sleep. Or maybe you're not gonna think about blue monkeys, and then as you're laying in bed, not thinking about them, those are popping into your head and your worries are kind of gone and forgotten. And you can fall asleep and have a good night's sleep. So those are some other, another strategy we can try when we're worrying. So I got, hope you guys have a great day and you enjoyed this video, and I hope that I'm back with you very soon in your classrooms. See you later, bye-bye.